that point in time, my main mission, get it back to Australia. We bought a whole heap of crystal meth from Zach's suppliers. Big snaplock bags of drugs. So? And we bought a whole heap of gift sets that had bath salts in them. <sighs> there was a process. We would have to make sure that we had gloves on, hair nets. So we'd lay out plastic because we didn't want any kind of evidence left. No fingerprints, no DNA. And we were naked. It's like open heart surgery. Take the soap out, separate it all. With screw jars, they have like the plastic around the side. I would cut that plastic, empty the contents like into a bowl, weigh it, making sure that match the weight of it on the jar. I don't want any residue on the outside of the jar. I would get a very fine low torch and I'd seal it. Put all the stuff back into the box. It looks as, about as not tampered with as I could possibly make it. Once the product was perfect, it got shipped with other items that had to go out. So it all looked part of the same parcel with my company name on the back. See ya. These packages would get tracked. Once we knew it got there a few days later, we were heaps excited about it. Then the money would be wired. The job was done. We started sending packages on a regular basis. It worked out to be about $320,000 a month. It wasn't going to be forever. And then I could legitimize myself and focus on my modeling. So I'd be in front of the camera, boom. In my mind, I'm like, oh, got to get a gift set today that had bath salts in them. And that's what I'm thinking is I'm getting told to pull my midsection in. I lived a double life. By day, I'm a, a swimsuit model gracing the pages of magazines. Nighttime, I'm packaging drugs to send overseas. Those two worlds for me were very real and I couldn't have them collide. I now had so much money, it's obscene. I could just walk into anywhere, purchase whatever I wanted at whatever time, and not even blink an eyelid. I walked around thinking I was in the best thing since sliced bread. What are you doing today? We're gonna go and watch a show in Broadway, in New York. I'm gonna book a flight now. Can't get a flight, let's get a G6. Yeah. I wish in my mind now that I looked at those times and thought that could send me to jail for the rest of my life, but I didn't know any different. When you have financial freedom like that, if you have no discipline, you run amok. And that's pretty much what happened. I wasn't turning up for shoots drugs were rife. It wasn't the cause of my demise, but we got out of control. <laughs> I thought the power, the success, and the money, and I would be happy for once in my life, and I wasn't. I was not fulfilled. I had not found love. I was so hollow and empty. Why can't I just go into the supermarket and then there'd be like a can of like love, a can of family, and I'll buy all that and I'll be right, because I knew what was missing, you know.